thanks for stopping by it's me nikki and i hope you guys enjoyed this look that i have for today don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there down below it's free and it helps you grow out hit that like button as well and i hope you guys enjoy this look today i'm aiming to do this look today it's inspired by bianca loves makeup and i got it off of instagram from a carity makeup site it didn't come out exactly like that but i am still really loving it so i'm going to show you how i did this and how to get away from the clown look um for those that are worried about looking like a clown or it just being a little too much I start off every look by putting the Tarte Concealer on my eyes to prime it up, especially when I'm going to use some bright colors because it really helps it pop the way I want it to. And I never put set, uh, setting powder on it. I just go on right with the color. And I'm going to start off with the yellow and apply it towards the top. But I'm not going to drag it all the way to the top where it's going to meet up with my eyebrow. I don't like to drag it all the way to the top because I feel that's when it starts to look like a clown look. And I don't want it to just be BAM! color all on our eyelid you know and then with the separate brush I'm gonna go in with that orange and put it right on top of that crease right on top of there and then I'm gonna dust off my brush and start the blending motion so that there's not that harsh line and then with another brush I'm gonna come in with the red and I'm gonna go right on that crease and I do have hooded eyes so it's kind of low but I'm going to do that to darken it up just to give it a little bit more definition. And then with the separate brush, I'm going to start applying the blue and just putting it on there. Just pat, pat, pat all around. Not too high because like I said, I do have hooded eyes and it, if I put it too high, it'll get on my yellow. So I got to keep it kind of low on these dark colors on that low lid. I'm going to apply this red on the bottom lash line and I really don't like it because I've had... Crazy allergies and my eyes always look bloodshot red so it kind of enhanced it. I end up changing it and putting a bit darker to darken it up on the bottom later on in the video. At this time I'm done really packing on that eyeshadow although I do do touch ups at the end but I'm not going to need to pack it on so I can take the air spun off. So no matter what look I am going for, I'm always going to apply a thin layer of eyeliner because I feel like it's a guideline when I add my eyelashes and I don't know, I just feel like I need it and it makes it look better. Also, I'm starting to notice something that I kind of don't like, but I'm going to wait till I apply the eyelashes because, you know, you cannot like a look, but once you apply the eyelashes, it really ties the look together. So I'm applying my favorite highlight, which is going to be from Ring the Alarm on the Jaclyn Hill palette. I use it for every look. I really love the way it pops and the way it blends. I also use it for my inner corner highlight and whenever I highlight my nose. Since I can't see very well, that's why I feel the black eyeliner is so vital to me because I'm just following it. Just so I can get the eyelash as close as I can to the eyelash without putting it on the eyelash. So anytime I do a colorful eye look, I'm always going to do a nude lip and I'm not going to apply blush because I feel that's when it starts, you know, getting close to that clown look that I don't want to be a part of. I just want my eyes to really pop. So I'm going to put a nude lip, um, some light bronze on my cheeks and I am looking and there's something I'm not really liking. I'm trying to finish up my bronzing to really see how I'm feeling about this look but I feel like I did the yellow eyeshadow way too high I'm feeling like it's coming off a little too much so all I do is I get some concealer and I'm applying it right on top of that yellow and I'm gonna drag it down above the where the orange starts because I feel I just feel like that yellow went way too high and I didn't like the way it looked so instead of washing off my makeup or you know just giving up and thinking oh no I look like a clown I'm just gonna bring it down with concealer guys you can fix makeup that's the beauty of it you can always go back or get a makeup wipe and then just clear off the eyes you don't have to clear off the whole makeup but for me on this particular times I always just do concealer and then I just reapply the yellow right on top of that orange so that I don't drag it too high but I just want that yellow to kind of pop on top of the orange to get rid of the harsh line and just to add that extra little color so as you see I am not dragging it to the very top at this time and I'm liking it way better this way 
know that quite a few girls tell me that they really want to mess with color because they like the way it looks but they're afraid of coming off as a pound look guys it's not the colors that you're using it's just about how you apply it how high you go in portioning it beware here comes another montage me trying to do it i don't know how but i want you to get the kind of feel of how it came out and i'm sorry about my bloodshot eyes it's my allergies that are so so bad but i hope you guys did enjoy this look and i hope i explained um about how not to try to make it look like a clown look and i hope you guys enjoyed it but don't forget to subscribe and i'll see y'all on my next video thanks